Shalom and good evening. This is TV7 Israel News broadcasting to you from Jerusalem and in today's top stories. Syria accuses Israel of launching three separate strikes against it in an attack that Syrian sources revealed to TV7 destroyed an arms depot belonging to Iran's Revolutionary Guards. The United Nations Security Council convenes an emergency meeting that was called for by the United States to discuss the latest unrest raging across Iran. Iraq's central government in Baghdad announces that it will start exporting oil from its northern Kilkuk fields, which it recently recaptured from Kurdish forces, to the Islamic Republic of Iran, with a first delivery date scheduled before the end of January. The Syrian army's general headquarters released a statement in which it accused Israel of launching three separate strikes early this morning at the al qutaifa area, which is a suburb of Damascus. The Syrian military claimed that Israeli jets fired missiles from inside Lebanese airspace, during which the Syrian aerial defense systems managed to intercept all the projectiles. Israel then launched two additional attacks, firing surface-to-surface -surface missiles, as well as an additional airstrike that was launched from Israeli territory. The statement revealed that several of the missiles were intercepted, however, some managed to infiltrate Syria's aerial defense systems, causing severe damage near a military base. In its statement, the Syrian military took the opportunity to accuse Israel of supporting terror organizations in Syria, saying this aggression is further proof that Israel supports the armed terror organizations in Syria in their desperate attempt to raise their morale in light of their defeats in Harasta and Ghouta al sharqiya in the Damascus suburbs along the Syrian army's crushing victories in Idlib. The Syrian military also took the opportunity to send a forceful warning to Israel, threatening of serious ramifications of its aggressive acts. It emphasized that Syria is prepared to deal with these attacks and will continue its war against the terror organizations across the war-torn country. The statement concluded with a vow reading, We will cut off Israel's arms of terror and restore security and stability on all Syrian lands. Meanwhile, Syrian sources informed TV7 that the targets of the alleged Israeli strikes were several weapons depots belonging to the Iranian Revolutionary Guards that were intended for Tehran's Shiite proxies operating alongside the Syrian army. Syrian officials, however, refused to confirm nor deny the information. Israel's defense forces refused to comment on the reports of it bearing responsibility for the attacks in Syria, stressing that it does not divulge information on its operational activities. Now in other news, the United Nations Security Council convened an emergency meeting that was called for by the United States to discuss the latest unrest raging across Iran. U.S. Ambassador to the World Body Nikki Haley defined the protests taking place across the Islamic Republic as a spontaneous expression of fundamental human rights, which she stressed is something the world must take note of. Haley further emphasized that while several member states of the powerful council reject discussing human rights, the United States strongly believes that the voice of the Iranian people should be heard. The United States stands unapologetically with those in Iran who seek freedom for themselves, prosperity for their families, and dignity for their nation. We will not be quiet. No dishonest attempt to call the protesters puppets of foreign powers will change that. The Iranian people know the truth, and we know the truth. They are acting of their own will, on their own behalf, for their own future. Nothing will stop Americans from standing in solidarity with them. In response to the emergency meeting, Russia accused the United States of using the Council's platform to bolster its efforts in scrapping the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action a 2015 nuclear agreement with Tehran that effectively limited Iran's nuclear program in exchange for sanctions relief, allegations Washington vehemently denied. За поддержание международного мира и безопасности. 
Ведь для всех очевидно, что выбранная сегодня тема не соотносится с уставными прерогативами Совета Безопасности. Истинный подоплек и причин созыва сегодняшнего заседания кроется не в попытках защитить права человека и интересы иранского народа, а в завуалированной попытке использовать текущий момент до продолжения линии на подрыв совместного всеобъемлющего плана действий по регулированию ситуации, ситуации вокруг иранской ядерной программы. The ambassador of the Islamic Republic also voiced his country's anger at the emergency meeting, accusing the powerful body of allowing itself to be abused by the current U.S. administration and holding a meeting on an issue that falls outside the scope of its mandate, while reiterating an accusation Tehran leveled at Washington several times in which it seeks to bolster the protests against the Ayatollah regime in the hope of bringing about a regime change. The move by the United States to bring to this council protests in Iran by some of our citizens for legitimate grievances, some exacerbated by none other than U.S. itself in its delirication of its obligation under the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, is an abuse of its power as a permanent member and, as, and an abuse of the council itself. It is unfortunate that despite the resistance on the part of some of its members, this council has allowed itself to be abused by the current U.S. administration in holding a meeting on an issue that falls outside the scope of its mandate. The other members of the Security Council held a somewhat unified position in which the unrest in Iran did not pose a threat to international peace and security. Nevertheless, the British ambassador to the world body, Matthew Rycroft, took the opportunity to stress that while London recognizes the Iranian people as an ancient and important civilization that has a rightful place in the modern world with a modern economy, the Islamic Republic pursues a policy that clearly destabilizes the Middle East. The Iranian people represent an ancient and important civilization that has a rightful place in the modern world with a modern economy. But too often Iran's security interests are pursued in a way that destabilizes and at times directly threatens others, supports terrorism and distorts the Iranian economy. These regional activities risk increasing international conflict and threaten international peace and security. We are deeply concerned by Iranian assistance to groups in Yemen, Yemen, Lebanon, Syria and Iraq. Now to Iraq, where the central government in Baghdad announced that it will start exporting oil from its northern Kirkuk fields, which it recently recaptured from Kurdish forces to the Islamic Republic of Iran, with the first delivery date scheduled before the end of January. <laughs> Exporting crude oil to Iran comes under a swap agreement that was announced last month by both Baghdad and Tehran to allow resumption of oil exports from Kirkuk. Both countries have agreed to swap up to 60,000 barrels per day of crude produced from Kirkuk in exchange for Iranian oil to be delivered to southern Iraq. Both countries also plan to build a pipeline to carry out the oil and avoid having to truck the crude, which could effectively replace the existing export route from Kirkuk via Turkey and the Mediterranean Sea. Thank you for watching us. Praying for the peace of Israel and the peace of Jerusalem. I'm Jonathan Hassan, Eve Erev Tov, and we will see you again tomorrow at the same time. In order to donate to TV7 Israel News, please follow these simple steps. First, press the Donate logo located at the bottom left side of TV7 Israel News Facebook page. 
or on the Donate tab at the head of the page. Then insert the amount you'd like to donate and fill in your credit card information. Just like this. And press Review Donation and Continue. After reviewing your donation details, please press Donate to finalize your donation. That's it! Your donation is now complete and an email with your donation details has been sent to your email address. You can also print your donation receipt by pressing the link here. Thank you for supporting TV7 Israel News.